Hello guys, welcome to the playlist of Coach and Control using Git. In the last video we saw what code reviews are and we had a look at the basic workflow of code reviews. So in this video we are going to look at the implementation of how to use code reviews in GitHub. Now we are here at our implementation part of code reviews. So for this we are going to use or rather I am going to use two accounts for you to understand the working of code reviews properly. So the first account will be for creating the changes and making pull requests. And the second one will be for reviewing the code. Now, if you haven't watched the earlier videos, please go and watch them because they consist of the implementation of pull request as well, which is what we are going to need in this video. And for you to understand this video entirely, you have to have the clear understanding of those things first. So, in front of us lies a project or a website and the first thing that we have to do is fork it. Now I already have, so it won't allow me to do it again, but you have to do it for any project you want. And then what I'm going to do is copy the URL and clone this project into my computer. So I'm going to use the git clone command and paste that link over here. So this project is getting cloned into my computer. Now that's done. Uh, the next thing that I have to do is navigate to that directory that has just been created. And we're in. Now, do you remember how we created new branches? Yes, that's right. We created that by doing checkout. And we are going to name the branch update promotion.html. Let's say that's the file we are going to update. So we have been switched to a new branch. Now we can start editing or updating the promotion.html file. So I'm going to use Atom. So here, my Atom terminal has opened. And let's say the change that I want to make is add an image to the title. So I'll add image src and let's say the name of my image is image itself. I'm just doing this change for you to understand. So now that I've added an image in the promotion.html folder successfully. So for committing these changes, we use the command um, I think I forgot to save these changes. So make sure you do that. So I'll just add updated promotion.html and exit from here. Now we can see that uh, the changes have been made over here. And now I'm going to make the pull request. And before that, I have to push these changes, right? So I'll use the command git push origin and the name of our branch, which is update promotion.html add your details here So as we can see, our files have been pushed. So let's go and check them out. So we can see update.promotion had reached recent pushes less than a minute ago. 
So what we have to do is compare and pull request. And what we will do is ask for review. Can you review the changes that I've made? So this is the message which we'll add and we'll create this pull request. Now this is how it looks like to us. Then this is the receiving end of the pull request. We can see that, uh, see this comment, can you review the changes that I have made and updated the promotion.html. And here, this is the file that has been changed and we can add any sort of comments here being the code reviewer. So let's say I want to add here, title could be a bit catchy. That's the first thing I would suggest or this is my suggestion for that person to change. And then let's say here I want to say that the font awesome link is missing. So these, these are the two comments that I've added as a code reviewer. And then I'll review these changes and request these changes. And I've submitted the review. Okay, I didn't leave a comment. These are my suggestions and the changes have been requested so we are back here and we have receive this comments from the code reviewer and these are the changes that we are supposed to make now to make the code more optimized and better so in order to make these changes let's go back to our terminal and say atom promotion.html Now the changes that we were asked by our code reviewer to make is to make the title a bit more catchy. So let's say I name it to promotion assist instead of promotion optimization. And even if it's not, let's just pretend that it's catchy for now. The another thing that our code reviewer asked us to do was to add a font or some link over here, which was missing. Or here we can see that this link is commented so let's just remove that comment and we have our font or some link here so let's save these changes and commit again now notice that we want to want this change to be a part of the previous commit so we'll say get commit dash a dash dash amend the next thing that we have to do is to push and since we have used amend it's pretty much like creating a new commit and then using an interactive rebase to fix up a change so the commit gets replaced by a completely new commit with a completely different commit ID. This means that to push it, we need, we'll need to use the dash F flag again. So we'll use git push.
so we can see that our file has been pushed now let's go back here we can see this termed as outdated this is because we added a new version of these changes now what we can do is resolve the conversation here and since that done since that's done now we can again put up a comment here saying that oh we ha i have made the necessary changes please take another look and then the reviewer can take another look and suggest for more changes if he or she wants so that was it about the code reviews but since we have covered quite a lot of things making the most out of code review process is a bit hard and will require some practice in the end using the code reviews will be because of experience so try incorporating these code reviews into your projects and this will definitely make your task of working with other people and making changes a lot more easier than you think only with a bit of practice so thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for the next one